Hey there guys, second session of the week. We have a speed session with some threshold aerobic capacity efforts at the end. So it's a pretty solid session. Make sure you, you uh, feel good going into it. You're well um, hydrated and um, you're focused on giving yourself a solid session. So go in with the intent to push yourself today. We've got that warm up that we normally do two minutes, just easy four minutes, do some mobility, especially through the ankle and the, and the hammies and then some speed. So five 20 meter efforts, focus on good technique, building up to 75% intensity and making sure we're in that forward 45 degree angle. So you're working on your first three steps. Then from there, we've got two sets of four accelerations from a kneeling start. So a good opportunity to practice your, your arms and really build into it. Uh, oh, that's going right back. And then we've got your zigzag agility. So from here, make sure that you're um, looking at the, the angle. We're, we're doing some what's called curve sprinting. So you're working through some different planes of motion, moving through like a, Z, a S shape. Um, and we want to make sure that you're you're moving at high speed. So you're not slowing down for that. Again, you're maintaining speed throughout the zigzag agility. And then your, in, your flying hundreds is if you've got a hundred meter effort, 30 meters where you build up to speed. So a really slow, gradual acceleration. Then you've got a 40 meter window, 40 meters, where you want to build up to the speed. So for some of you, it's hitting 90%, 95%, whatever your individual target is, hit that speed. Uh, and don't hold it for 40 meters. You just hit it within the 40. And then as soon as you hit it, hold it for a few meters, maybe five, and then start to wind down. Okay, so we're just exposing you to high velocity. We're not like a 100 meter sprinter trying to get to it as fast as possible and then holding it for as long as possible. It's just exposing you to, to top end speed or close to top end speed. That's really, really important. Two sets of six, walk back recovery. Remember, rest periods allow intensity. So make sure you're getting optimal recovery between each rep and particularly the sets. And then you've got three 1K efforts with a three minute rest. Okay, so for some AFL clubs, this is their 2K time trial. It's an excellent test for aerobic capacity. More importantly, how well you can recover between these uh, efforts, these maximal efforts. So consistency is key. That's what we're looking for. Um, but don't pace it. You should. You definitely should get a bit of deterioration each one. I don't want to see people um, going easy the first one, then going a little bit harder, and then going max out on the third. All right. So it should definitely be your best is your first, and then a little bit of a drop off, and then a little bit of a drop off. Okay. When you're resting for the three minutes, focus on long, slow breaths. All right. Imagine you're on a, in a game and you want to try and get your, you're in a really important game like a grand final and you want to get your heart rate down as soon as possible when you're on the bench. So then you can get back out there and make a big impact. That's a really important skill and tool to practice in the off season, pre season as a footballer. Um, or you might be a couple of, you know, you might be a hundred meters away from the next play on the footy ground. So practicing long, slow breaths when you get the opportunity allows you to be fresher going into the next contest. So you can uh, bring speed and bring, um, great concentration to that activity. Whereas fatigue affects everything negatively. You won't be able to concentrate as well. You won't be in the right positions and um, you won't be able to hit with good intensity that next contest. At the end, get through some kicking work. So focus on some um, different types of kicking patterns with a little bit of frontal pressure with a, with a buddy. Um, so you got someone on the mark, do some quick feet work, change your direction, snap kicks, just mix it up as much as you can. Have a great session, guys, and uh, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out on the Team Builder app.